Okay, so we've pretty much got it uh, leveled. And the stand is real close to being leveled. I think we're about ready to start putting some rock in the tank. And Scott is working on a new fix for a little bump in the road he's got with the filter. The bump being that those uh, two one-inch holes are too close together. Um, but that's why I call it a custom job. Everything is made to fit. Okay, had to make a uh, anticipated run to the hardware store. <laughs> Somebody <clears throat> glued the fittings wrong out there. Um, let's see. Condi is coming along with the rock work. Just did a review of the video we did before to uh, catch up to where he uh, had done it before. So now he's uh, re- uh, adjusting his uh, plan there and let's see here all right how is it going out here sparky oh boy nice and warm huh you're turning as pink in the face as i am on the top of my head all right so there's your uh, sump you've got the the input that'll somehow interface with a hole on the side where one of those lines will come through. I see you've got the uh, drain in place and uh, the chiller so you've got it orientated like that so that's what created all this extra room at this end and this is probably where uh, in the beginning some five gallon jugs for uh, RO reservoir will sit but maybe ultimately we either find uh, some plastic containers at uh, the hardware store or maybe even have an acrylic uh, reservoir so made. Is making an acrylic one that's going to maximize it because with this sump outside and their air conditioning running I mean I can easily see a gallon a day or more of water evaporation. Uh, I'm sure she'll be receptive to that so. Alright so you're uh, taking off the old fittings and getting ready to put the new ones back on? Put the new ones on. Well, those are the new ones. Now you did it correct this time right? Yes sir. So do you want to review that, or are you you're pretty comfortable with it? Yeah, okay, with so it all right, the all right. the fitting in on the wrong side of the union. Uh oh, the fitting for the pump. So Jim had to do exactly what he didn't want to do, and that's run to the hardware store. Yeah. And also get us some lunch. Lunch was good. Yes. Um, needed. McDonald's quarter pounders with cheese. They all disappeared real quick, like, and it was kind of a quick, quiet uh, ten minutes of munching. So made all the boys happy now that they have little tummies or food in their tummies they're not as grumpy so all right so the chiller's going to need a hole cut on the front end and on the back end or at least the, the back side and the front side yeah we're going to make a cover we're going to have to have a cover made that comes over like that basically a l-shaped cover that can set in here set on this okay um that way there's not a whole bunch of extra space that way when they vent it behind the chiller in front of the chiller Air goes out, or if they really want to vent it over to this side, I suppose. Your plumbing's going to come over on that side? Uh, plumbing's going to come through here. Okay. Through there. Your UV's so. going to go back over there? Uh, UV, I would like to put the UV someplace over here or okay. over here. So we'll get to that. It's probably going to be over here, is what I'm thinking. Now, that bulkhead there in the top. That's for the UV, or that's a return back right, into the sun. You want to not have it dropping straight down, otherwise, it's just going to crash water and air Correct. bubbles into the inlet. In a, we're going to put a fitting on the end here and bring it straight down. Or to the side. Either way, it's going to go in, it's okay. not going to splash. So, that divider that was in here is not going back in here, and in its place will be this angled cover? Correct. Okay. Alrighty, so it's uh, my van said it was only 87 degrees, but it's got to be warmer than that. But um, 
it's a little on the humid side, but thank goodness we decided to bring the fan along. So, okay. Okay, so the uh, sculpture is coming along. It's starting to look plentiful with lots of nooks and crannies and landing spots for uh, corals to be placed upon. And structurally, it's uh, strong. Okay. This, this piece is right here. I'm gonna leave it to get removed. So when you need to work, if you need to work on this, everything else. How much is, of that is gonna be removable? Just this one up here. Okay. And, you know, all the other ones are pegged in. Okay. Bless you. Right. 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 And Scott is coming along with the pump discharge manifold. It's right at that point that uh, water will be sent out from the filter back to the tank. Also, that manifold there will also come to the other side of that T. Part of it will drive the chiller, which will return to the sump. The other part will discharge over down to the uh, UV sterilizer, which will come into the side of the sump. We set up a nice tent create some shade for Scott but this time of day we're starting to lose the shade simply due to the angle thank goodness we did bring that fan again that creates a nice little breeze over in this area here so it's uh, slowly but surely coming along and the reality is that even though as much planning that went into this uh, everything seems to have gotten changed enough so the trick is to adapt. Um, so again, it's a custom job. It's nothing's off the shelf here. All right. I'm gonna need a oh. Looking good so far, Condi. Very attractive. So the rock work is coming along, and. Drilling the uh, holes through the back of the uh, filter cabinet <coughs> for the uh, drain and return lines. Pretty thick piece of plywood there and pretty um, dull hole saw. Hi there, my name's Jim Stein, and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium, and the third is myfishtank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available. And the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be. That's myfishtank.com.
Rub-a-dub-dub, it's a fish guy in a tub. Drilling holes. Whoops. Drilling holes and bumping into each other. Splish, splash, taking a bath. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Well, that red sunburn looks like you could use it. Yeah, it might be alright. So now it's time to put some of the sand in. Kandi has now progressed far enough on his live rock sculpture that we can begin to introduce the sand into the tank. And I see if you can at all, they always give you that little bag of stuff and I see that bag right there. This is bioactivated sand and its benefit is convenience. It won't, because there's still one trapped in my tank. Unlike Scott, who's drilling holes in the cabinet in the inconvenient hot sun. The sand, unlike what we used to get years back, is simply inoculated with bacteria. What we used to get, which was the real stuff, came with a wide range of life. I recall seeing copepods and arthropods and various live crustaceans. These days, it's just bioactivated. Okay, so we've uh, pulled all the equipment out of the box, drilled the holes and brought the plumbing inside. You can kind of see here on the back side, and I don't know if you can see, but there are ball valves down there just as an additional backup. Uh, this will end up having to be moved because they put a GFCI inside that uh, power back there and I think that's a problem for two reasons. One, in regards to aquarium, sure it's safe and it provides safety, but at the same time it could trip that uh, aquarium. And the second issue is we can't get back there to push the button, so uh, there are alternatives there. So uh, whether this equipment goes back in here yet tonight, I don't know. This portion of it will not be running tonight. Um, namely because it's not ready. There's other things that need to be done, such as holes cut for uh, <clears throat> the chiller, vents, uh, the power issue, etc. So what Reggie's in the process of getting ready to do is a little cleanup inside because the next thing that we're going to do after that is start pumping the water into the tank. Now the live sand is in there. Uh, Condi is smoothing it out. Um, and I've got the hose. You can go ahead and do that cleaning up there. I've got the hose run all the way to uh, the truck. Where there's a hundred gallons of pure seawater, pure ocean, not ocean water, pure uh, salt water made uh, at home. I brought that along. And in case that's not enough, uh, I've also got jugs of uh, water here filled up in the van, so I think we're just about ready to start pumping some water into the tank. Yeah. Uh, Condi, you ready for water? Uh, hold on. Hold on. All right. Ready. Okay, you can plug it in. Ready? Yes, you can plug it in. Water in the hole. Okay. All right, so water should be rolling. Ready to go into the tank for the initial fill. And there's the initial water going into the tank. Where's this clamp? Oh, you want and enjoy it now because I think as it fills up it'll get a little milky but uh, it's going to settle down pretty fast if you want that. especially with those big pumps in there <laughs> well at least you're not pointing down okay so start keeping an eye on the floor make sure there's no drips or anything
Dark frog. You see that? So the tank's a little more than half full at this point. Um, I really planned on getting a little bit further, but um, again, it was a, a challenge and a lot of modifications that we ended up having to make. Uh, the first part of the morning was dealt with getting that uh, internal overflow taken care of. But that's pretty much done now, and you can see once that got done and the pumps got put in there, and Condi and Reggie were able to do the rock work. Um, out here, um, we had to make a lot of changes and modifications to uh, the filter box area. Uh, and he's, he, you know, he's bummed that we didn't get further, but the reality of it is we got a lot further than he realizes because all the plumbing for the pump and the sump is all done. So that just gets connected through a union. Uh, we've got a couple lines to connect in the back through the union ball valve, but you know most of that stuff's done. So there's probably a half a dozen glue joints left to do in the whole system. So we're waiting for the cabinet guy to make some modifications to the box. Yeah, we have to have a um, cover for the chiller and then the electrician's got to come in and address the outlet. Right. And then there'll be the cabinet guy in here that'll do the cabinetry down around the base. Um, what I'm more concerned with is the uh, cabinetry for the canopy because that's what all the lights are going to get attached to so um, we're obviously not putting the lights on the tank today. And then once all the cabinetry is done, um, half of the Apex computer controller system will be here underneath the cabinet, and the other half will be out in the um, filter box out here. So we can't really get that done until uh, the cabinetry is in place. I think we're going to end up putting a uh, board across the, those two metal bars inside there, and that way we'll have a place to position all the uh, components and there's a lot of components on this uh, uh, computer controller system I mean a lot of components so uh, uh, the job is probably a little more than halfway done I foresee at least uh, two more trips here half days each to get the rest of it done and then we can start putting uh, fish and coral into the tank but um, it was a big job uh, I have to admit uh, I'm, what, 57, going to be 58 years old this summer, and uh, with the weather today, and for as challenging and stressful as this was, I don't know how many more big jobs I'm going to be able to take on, but uh, hopefully this one would uh, qualify as one of the crowning achievements of that uh, uh, endeavor. So, having said all that, um, as always, even in a kind of a grumpy and maybe slightly disappointed in how far we didn't get uh, mode. Always keep moving forward. <laughs>